Hey everyone and welcome back to Urbex. I'm here in Meadville, Pennsylvania and behind me is the Topps Grocery Store. I've heard of them, but I've never been to one. I've never seen one. So we're gonna check one out on today's episode. All right, give the video a big thumbs up if you love the facade of this Topps grocery store. I think it looks pretty cool with that mirror reflective glass on the front and the big logo that is way down low, not up high. That is so cool. Wow, look at this sign that's in here with all the old pictures. Always love coming into stores and checking out some of the old pictures they might have from the area. It's fun. Because some of these pictures you can't find like online. You're looking for old pictures of wherever you're at when you're traveling. And then you can't find them online, which kind of sucks. So here's a quick look at these. And that's a cool... Man, if I was ever near one of these and they went out of business, I'd be after that sign. I don't want them to go out of business. But if they did... Wow, this is a nice store. It reminds me of a old style Kroger. Like frozen in time. This hasn't been updated probably since the 90s. Wow. How often do you see live lobsters? I mean, I see them all the time at jungle gyms, but if you don't have a jungle gyms, which I'm sure you don't, you don't see them very often. Check out the pink and mauve tile they have behind the deli counter, or is it the meat counter, whatever. Anyways, that was cool. Also grooving the floor tiles, wow. Yeah, check out some of the signage that's in here, like the fresh dairy sign and the frozen food sign. Those are so dated, but they're so awesome. Oh my gosh. I think Parker might have found something cool. I need to go check it out. He's way down there at the other end. Bakery, and then coming up to the checkout. Their bakery items look really nice. Like check out some of these cakes and stuff that they have. $5.99, not bad prices either. Wow. I guess this place is out of New York, and that makes sense why we don't have them in Ohio. We did. We did have them in Ohio? A long time ago. It was... I, I don't remember know. these ever in Ohio. I couldn't have one. Cleveland had a lot of them, I think. Oh, well, that's, too, that's technically Ohio, yes, but not anywhere by us. And look at that. Thank you for visiting, and there's all the checkouts. Ooh, they've got local sportswear. Look at all the classic candy they have here, guys. Oh, my gosh, look at that Hershey's bar. It's even old school. I've never seen some of the uh, old school Hershey's like that. And then of course it says Tops Classic Candies. Okay, this is the bulk candy section and I think it's even bigger than Jungle Jim's candy section, which is saying something because Jungle Jim's candy section is nuts. But you can get all the individual bulk candy here or you can buy all the, the nuts. Oh look, it here's all kinds of gummy stuff too. I hate gummy stuff, but Parker likes gummy stuff. See, there's all the gummy stuff, and it's all, it's better value if you get it, and it's the top stuff. I don't think I've ever seen these, and I've been into a lot of nostalgic candy stores, country stores, places that sell the old candy. Oh, wow, look at that. Problem is, is there's going to be stuff in here that I don't like, and then no one would eat it. But me. Well, yeah, you might eat it, but you're not with me all the time. Unless you want to buy it now. Want to see your name here? Head on over to patreon.com slash tilted tripod media and become a member today and gain access to all of my secret content as well as other member exclusive perks. And thank you for supporting the future of video. This is the Christmas tree shops here in Miamisburg, Centerville, the suburbs of Dayton. You don't see too many of these, at least in the uh, area of the country that I live in and frequent. So I thought I would document it here. It is a really crazy store to see, especially during the middle of July. 
and I love the architecture on it. It is not boring. It is not bland. It is amazing. Well, let's go inside and check it out. I also love how they have their hours posted on this sign like that. That's pretty cool. Look at all the lighthouses. I like the lighthouses. Those are kind of cool. Sorry, I'm such a dork. You're not a dork. I just, I love everything that's sea and nautical. Yes, but you're not a dork. I say I'm a dork because most guys could care less about that kind of stuff, but then I grew up in Michigan, so I love it. What? No, I'm not going to say anything on camera. You can say, all my viewers know. Okay. What? You want to know what I was going to say? Yeah, what? I was going to say that a lot of gay guys are really into that. I know. Well, you can say that on my channel, everybody knows. See, I like, look at this where it says home. That's very appropriate since I grew up in the Great Lakes state of Michigan. H-O-M-E, home for the Great Lakes. Oh. They're meaning home as in your house, but. That's cool. Yeah. So during the summertime, they have all of this beach-related stuff. Camping, outdoor stuff. Look at all the beach towels. Got your sunscreen. This is pretty awesome. Oh, my OMG. Look at this. I haven't seen these in forever. Oh, my gosh. It's Richard Simmons. What the what? Did we fly back into the 80s? Yes, the 80s have arrived. Richard Simmons? Richard Simmons, Chia Pet. Ooh, and David Hasselhoff. It is 80s, 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 and the joy of painting Bob Ross. But then we have something more modern. Yoda. Star Wars. No, Baby, Yoda. Baby Yoda. Wow. So you're probably wondering why they're called Christmas tree shops. And I really don't know myself, but I would assume that they probably started out as a Christmas store and then realized that doesn't work for most of the year. And so then now they're more like a um, home goods or... Um, Ah, what's that other store? The at-home store, if you're familiar with those. Yeah. Wait, what? That's the same back scratcher you and I have. Oh, yeah, those are common, but that one looks... It it's looks, a cheaper version of it. It looks retarded. It. No, it's a cheaper <laughs> version of it. Well, Wait, yeah. it is... Yeah, it's only $1.99. That's a good value, well, we actually. not very much for ours. No. See, so you can get one like that. Wait, they have different versions. Yeah. This doesn't have the roller balls. This has two of these, and then they have this version. It only has one. And who cares? That's weird. Hey, 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 look who decided to arrive. It's Detroit. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I know. So healthy, our trip to this store today. But I had to get these because they're so rare. And if you've never had these, it's almost like you're eating real chips and salsa. But you're not. And I've never seen those before, although kettle chips are not rare. But... And then we've got lemon snaps. Yeah, you yes. had to get lemon snaps. I, I don't did. like them. They're lemon cookies, like sugar cookies. Yeah, they're okay. All right. Why are you getting in the back of my head? Because are you nuts? let's go see the dog toys. This place even has laundry soaps and cleaners. And this is a weird store. I love it. It's just weird, though. Yeah, you're weird. I know I'm weird. Oh, look at Here's cosmetics. No, no this is more like either. this is more like um, bathroom essentials, not cosmetics. Look at this. I have prairie dogs and I found a prairie dog eating pizza. That is awesome. Wait, what's it say on the inside? <laughs> Probably something really dumb. Yeah, something really dumb. Lawnmower. Oh, yeah, it is. It's like an old school lawnmower. Wow. It's a Martha Stewart. I didn't know Martha Stewart made lawnmowers. Well, she doesn't. She just puts her name on it. Yeah. Hey, well, that was a really nice store. Thank you for coming along as we took a look at the Christmas tree shops here in the Dayton area. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on another episode. Bye, everyone.